Hello friends, welcome back to our video. Today in part 2.2 of Mastering Parallel Programming series in C Sharp, we are going to learn how PLinQ empowers input output intensive functions in C Sharp. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the like button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Ok, without any further delay, let's get started. If you watched my previous videos on Mastering Parallel Programming series, you might recall this diagram. Well, today we will go ahead one more step further and learn how PLinQ empowers input output intensive function in C sharp. Efficiently parallelize input output intensive function with PLinQ in C sharp. So, before we delve into the details of efficiently parallelizing input output intensive function with PLinQ in C sharp, let's first understand what input output intensive function and CPU intensive functions are. The input intensive function are those operations that heavily involve reading from or writing to external resources such as files, network connections or databases, often resulting in significant waiting time for response. Whereas CPU intensive function are those operations that heavily utilize the CPU for computations, often involving complex algorithms or mathematical calculations, leading to high processor utilization. Now let's see PLinQ's bit degree of parallelism method, what it is and how it helps in handling the input output intensive function. Occasionally, a task takes a long time to complete not due to CPU intensive nature but rather because it awaits external factors like downloading a web page or waiting for hardware response. So PLinQ can efficiently parallelize such task if you indicate the desired parallelism using with degree of parallelism after as parallel method. Ok, let's understand a simple way. In the world of programming, some tasks are like SPD runners, needing lightning fast execution to finish quickly, while others are more like marathon runners, requiring patience and endurance to reach the finish. Let's say you want to ping four different websites to check their responsiveness. Instead of waiting for one website to respond before moving on to the next, PLinQ allows you to ping all four websites simultaneously. This means you are not wasting time twiddling your thumbs while waiting for response. So PLinQ makes sure that your computer's resources are utilized effectively, just like a well-organized team working together to accomplish a task. Now here is the trick. When using PLinQ for tasks like you know pinging website, you need to give it a hint about how many tasks it should handle simultaneously. So this is where with degree of parallelism comes into the play. It's like telling your assistants how many websites they should ping at once. If you don't specify this, PLinQ might assume that your task is more about crunching numbers than waiting for responses and it won't parallelize effectively. Ok, so let's try to understand with the code snippet shown over here. Here I have written var results website dot h parallel. Why I have written dot h parallel? Because I want parallel execution for the link queries. That's what I have written as parallel method. Then I have added dot with degree of parallelism 4. So here I am just going to giving the hint to run a maximum of 4 parallel tasks. Here I mentioned 4, so it means I'm just giving the hint that query should be executed with the help of maximum of 4 parallel tasks only. Then there is a select operation. In this select operation, what I am doing for each website URL in a website array, a ping object is created. That's what I have written ping obj ping is equal to new ping. Then I am going to use the send method of this obj ping class. Basically, I am just going to ping a site with the help of this send method. Whatever the response we are going to receive, we are going to store into the reply variable of the ping reply. Then there is a return statement that is nothing but the projects here. So each website URL along with the ping result that's what reply dot status right and round trip time that is nothing but the reply dot round trip time I'm just going to putting in an anonymous type. That's why this result of the PLinQ query is going to get stored into this result variable. That's what I have mentioned where result is good. Okay, so this is how we are going to use dot with degree of parallelism. Okay, let's switch to the Visual Studio and see all these things in action. Okay, so here we are in Visual Studio. Here we are going to see a CSHA program that demonstrate how to use PLinQ to efficiently ping multiple websites simultaneously with the help of dot with degree of parallelism method. So here what I have done, I have created one console application named intensive function with PLinQ that has program.cs In program.cs file, first of all, I imported the necessary namespace using system for basic functionality, using system.linkq for 
in queue operation using system dot net dot network information for network related operation and system dot threading dot task for task based asynchronous programming. Then there is a class name program that has main method which is an entry point of this application. Here, first of all, I have written this console dot write line statement to print p link queues with degree parallelism demo in C sharp into console. Then I created a string array. That's what I have written a string website. And here I have mentioned the URL of the website to ping. Basically, this website's string array is holding URLs of the website. Then I wrote one p link queue query. What I have written var results is equal to website dot edge parallel. I have written this edge parallel method for parallel execution of the link queries. Then I have written with degree of parallelism four. So basically, with this method, I am just giving the hint. To run with a maximum of four parallel tasks, then there is a select operation. Inside that, for each side, what I am doing, I am just creating an object of the ping class. That's what I have written: ping obj ping is equal to new ping. And then I am just going to ping a website with the help of send methods. Obj ping dot send site. Here, whatever the response that we are going to get, we are storing into the ping reply. Then there is a anonymous type I have created where I am just including site. Reply dot status reply dot round trip time right so all those things is going to get returned whole query I am storing this results very then there is a for each loop that I trace through the results and print the website URL ping result and round trip type to the console using the console dot write line and at last I have written console dot read line state these lines ensure that the console window remains open until the user presses the enter key allowing them to view the out okay so that's the overall program. So let me execute this program and witness the output. Okay, so output got appear into this console window. P link queues with degree of parallelism demo in C sharp got printed. Website www.google.com results success time 16 milliseconds. Website www.youtube.com results success time 7 mm. Website yahoo.com results success 12 mm. Website wikipedia.org results success time 6. So this output got printed with the help of with degree of parallelism. So with degree of parallelism basically helped us how many website they should ping at once. Here I have pinged four websites simultaneously with the help of with degree of parallelism. Okay, so that brings me to end of my session. In the world of programming, efficiency is key. With p -Link you, you can harness the power of parallelism to tackle input intensive tasks like fetching data from multiple websites by understanding how p -Link you works and using features like with degree of parallelism, you can unlock the full potential of your code and deliver faster, more responsive application. How it make your life as a programmer much easier. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.